Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Alex here. In today's video we're talking about coffee. The truth is I love coffee. I love a cup of coffee in the morning, even in the afternoon and especially before the gym. That's my routine. I used to always have a coffee before gym time and before work. As you guys know, I work as a flight attendant and it's quite a stressful job at times and it requires a boost of energy a lot of times. So I use coffee as that boost of energy and I never thought I would be addicted to coffee or or I never thought I like coffee too much. I just consume it every now and then, but it kind of became a routine in the last years, let's say. It became a routine, especially before my gym sessions, you know, to have a boost, to have the motivation to go to the gym, to have the motivation to work out hard, to have that caffeine in my system and um, have that energy to go get it, to lift the weights. And the same goes for working, right? You want to perform at work properly. You don't want to be sleepy, look tired and, you know, jaded. And using coffee kind of prevents that. So then, okay, why quit coffee? Why would you quit coffee? Well, um, first of all, it it can cause a bit of stress, it overwhelms the body with dopamine and that can have diminishing returns in the future. So that means the time you spend drinking the same cup of coffee every morning, in time you will need to multiply it to maybe drink one and a half cups, maybe drink two cups for the same effect and then later on you notice, hey, it kind of stopped having that effect. So now I'm just drinking it to stay sane. So it's very weird. Um, one more reason to quit coffee would be that it ruins sleep, you know, circadian rhythms. As a traveler myself, I can tell you that, that this is a very important one. It can disrupt your circadian rhythms. You don't know what's day, what's night. It can alter that, so that's not ideal, right? And then, of course, is the mentality of it. Um, if I drink coffee, I would feel motivated to, you know, perform that day. And if I don't drink, I feel demotivated, I feel down, I feel like I'm not being, I'm not able to work properly and so on and so forth. So it's a, it's a mental thing, it's a placebo thing as well, attached to it, I guess. And then, of course, there's some studies, they say coffee, uh, caffeine can age you faster and also it can dry your skin out. Now, I do have dry skin myself. I always had dry skin, I guess, and uh, I don't think it's related to drinking coffee or not. Now, yes, I did quit coffee. And how did I quit coffee? How did I do it? Because people say it's really hard and I haven't even considered myself addicted before. Like I didn't think I was addicted to coffee, but it proved that I am or I was. So how did I quit? Well, I took vacation. I took time off. I had three weeks of vacation. And I decided to go back to Romania. I had some things to solve there. And uh, I said to myself, okay, there's going to be no more coffee, no more vaping. Sometimes I used to vape in my car, just driving on and off somewhere. And also in case of shisha, living in the Middle East, there are shisha places everywhere. So you, you have one every now and then you go for a dinner, you have some shisha with it. So I said to myself, okay, there's nothing, there's nothing, no coffee, no shisha, no nothing. And there's not going to be drinking as well. I don't drink. I drink rarely. So that's not a problem for me. So I went back home in Romania. I took my time and I had absolutely no uh, stimulants whatsoever, right? No coffee, no uh, vaping or smoking or whatever. And no uh, drinking, of course. And I think that's the way to do it. Because uh, if you try to um, quit coffee and you're working, you are in a high stress environment and you kind of need that cup of coffee to be able to function properly, then it's quite tough, you know, but if you have a long vacation that you can take, you just can say, okay, I have, I have some time off work, I can do this. And then this is how you do it. Now, the way I do it is I quit cold turkey. I just stop drinking coffee completely from one or two cups of day to zero, which um, was maybe not the ideal way to do it because I had massive headaches. Um, I was drowsy, I was sleepy. I slept like 12 hours, uh, three days in a row, which is great. I love to sleep, I have to sleep. I need my proper sleep, so that's a good thing actually. But again, if you're working, uh, it's not ideal. 
<laughs> you, you will sleep at work. And the headaches were horrible. Feeling tired, drowsiness, being unproductive. Those are some of the symptoms I felt going out uh, of the habits of drinking coffee. So I just did it basically to test myself. Hey, I am not addicted to anything. I don't have to drink coffee if I don't want to, and I'm not addicted to it. Go away, coffee. Here we go, freedom. <laughs> and it's super weird because I love the taste of coffee. Uh, I always enjoyed it. Okay, but let's see, what does caffeine actually do? Why did I quit? Well, I have a small list here just to, um, to pick an eye on it to have my ideas sort in order. So basically what coffee does is it borrows energy from future stock. So it's a form of fake unsustainable energy, right? It borrows energy from the future into your present so you're able to properly function. This is what coffee does. Once you get used to coffee, you need it. Um, otherwise your natural energy will be lower. Also, as you drink more and more and you get addicted, you need more and more of it to have the same level of energy. And the big problem with this is after that burst of energy, it comes the crash. Here comes the crash. So you'll have a crash of energy and by 3 or 4 p.m. Uh, you will feel uh, jaded, you'll feel tired, you'll feel like you don't want to do anything, you'll feel like you want to escape work and so on and so forth, which is... Again, it's it's not ideal, right? This is a cup of coffee in my life. Now, right now, it's empty and it's been so for over two months. It's It's been over two months since I quit coffee. And now it's time for me to explain how I feel afterwards. How do I feel after quitting this habit, after quitting caffeine? First of all, best improvement is sleep. I fall asleep much faster. I can stay asleep without waking up. And I felt like many times I would wake up to, to go pee, to go to the toilet, right? But now I just sleep it through. Like I just sleep all the way. I wake up in the morning, I go to the bathroom normally and that's it. And it's quite nice. It's like normal. It's, it's I don't know if, if it's because of coffee, but I think it's correlated to uh, me stop drinking caffeine. So in the same category, I would say uh, less anxious, uh, not stressed, very peaceful, um, as I said, falling asleep easily and staying asleep. Very important in my line of work, working as a flight attendant, traveling, traveling time zones, ladies and gents. This is super important for me. So I needed to, to do this. I really needed to do this in order to feel alive again. And I know it sounds weird because you do feel alive on coffee, on caffeine, but um, yeah. It's been great so far. So this is the first step of this big improvement in sleep. Now, the second step is I feel more rested after I wake up. So you wake up, sometimes you feel groggy, you feel tired still, you're still tired for like three hours. Right now, for the most part, in most of the times, of course, I do feel more rested after waking up. I wake up, that's it. I'm, I'm good to go. Time to shine. <laughs> This is how I feel after I wake up nowadays. And of course, it's not a rule. I still feel tired sometimes. My line of work is on shifts. I work night shifts, I work morning shifts. So uh, it depends on my schedule, obviously. But for the most part, it's much better. It's a big improvement from uh, how it used to be before. So props to quitting coffee for that. So this was the second step, right? Now, the third step is stable energy throughout the day. So I wake up, my energy goes up like this, stays flat. My energy stays flat for the rest of the day, ladies and gents, which is super nice. It's super refreshing. I don't have those crashes anymore. Um, I don't feel like going to sleep at 3 p.m. Um, this is great. This is great and you feel like a kid again, running in the garden. This is how it's supposed to be. And you never know this until you stop, stop drinking coffee. And, oh God, I, I never thought I'm going to say this, right? So staying off caffeine means I can improve my sleep overall and my energy overall, right? There's no more boosts, small bursts of energy, but there's no more crashes either. So it's just flat, flat energy levels. This is what you want, right? No highs and no lows. 
One more thing I noticed from uh, quitting caffeine is actually digestion. I think my digestion is better. Sometimes I used to be bloated on flights after drinking coffee. I'm not sure if it's correlated again. It might be something else, but uh, other people are saying the same. There is an improvement, a small improvement in digestion. So, you know, your insides are feeling better. Another point would be brain fog. You know, sometimes when you have this brain fog weird thing and you cannot do anything because you cannot think. Well, I had this a few times and I'm not sure, again, if it's correlated with caffeine content. Maybe it was also some time off that I needed. I, t took, my t I took my time off in vacation. I enjoyed my time, right? I was at peace. I was sleeping at night. I recharged myself. Maybe that has something to do with it as well. But um, staying off caffeine, there's no more brain fog. Um, again, I just wake up when I wake up and then I stay awake and everything is fine. Like I feel very normal. There's no crashes, no, there's no moods, no brain fog, no nothing. And this is a very weird thing, you know. I know many of you guys, you love your coffee in the morning and I do as well. I do as well. This was just a test for me to see how I feel. Will I drink a coffee in the future? Probably so, probably so. I'll have a cup of coffee every now and then, maybe. Although I haven't touched it for two months, which includes uh, Coke, right? No Coke, no coffee, no tea, no black tea, no green tea, nothing with caffeine, no diet Coke, no nothing. So this is me without everything. I'm just cruising through life <laughs> without that boost, that regular boost. No energy drinks, of course, guys, energy drinks have two times as much as a, as a cup of coffee, two times as much caffeine. And uh, it's been fine. It's been great so far. And I'm really proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself. Now, having considered all of this, should you quit coffee? It's up to you. Uh, you know, you, you can take this video as a reference to what's my personal experience with this process. Your experience might be different. Maybe you don't have any of those issues that I talked about. So quitting coffee for you is not an option, or at least you don't consider it as you're fine. But uh, in my line of work, I felt I needed a change. So this is the reason I, I did it. I do feel an overall improvement in my health and the way I feel. So I guess that's a good thing. I guess that's a good thing. It's very weird at work when somebody offers you a cup of coffee and say, oh, no, I, I stopped drinking coffee. And they look at you. They're like, what? <laughs> You're not drinking coffee? What do you mean you don't drink coffee? Everybody drinks coffee. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a test for me. A test for me to see how I feel and um, I guess it's much needed. Now the weird part is there's also a social aspect to it. Going out for a cup of coffee with your friends. Taking a girl out for a coffee. Everything is like coffee coffee, right? So there is this social thing, but you can replace things. You can have an orange juice instead of that coffee. You can have a smoothie, whatever. You can take a girl out and you can say, hey, let's go for a smoothie. That's it. A smoothie. Why not? Um, some of those smoothies are quite healthy as well. So, in conclusion, was it overall worth it? Absolutely. I had to take this step. I wanted to take this step. I don't know how much it will last, but uh, so far I'm sticking to it. It's been two months, or rather just over two months, and so far so good. I, I'm, I'm managing, even, even while flying the world, working as a flight attendant. Yeah. So far, so good. All right, ladies and gents, please let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about this action? What do you think about this process? Would you be able to do it? Obviously, I know many of you, you don't actually drink coffee, so you cannot really relate to any of those things I talked about. Absolutely. But for those of you that drink coffee every now and then, or maybe an energy drink or something, let me know what do you think about this. Would you be able to do it? Ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. See you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.